the music is different. Whoa, it's Flippa. Oh, I'll bet they're gonna boss rush me, huh? That'd be kind of cool. Sweep them. Bit the dust pretty quick there. Oh! There's uh, Zibzub with a squid. Wouldn't surprise me if all these bosses are at their same strength as when you fight them normally. So they'll probably all get laid out pretty quick here. Yep. Okay. Silver Quabot, or... I think it's blue, but apparently the official name is Silver. Yeah, I could pretty much just stand in front of this guy and it won't matter. Red Optimon. Probably one of the bosses that gave me the most trouble in the entire game. And he's gonna get roasted pretty good here. But I still need to be careful. This seaweed does look like it hurts a bit still. Oh, hey, it's Grimgrin. Grim. Fighting you is a giant pain, too. I wonder if these bosses are slightly weaker. Could be because I have a power-up for, uh, my gun. My gun is stronger since I originally fought these guys. It's pretty straightforward so far. And that was going bananas. Racers is good. I may need that for a final boss when I get there. Okay, it's, damage is still pretty real. There we go. Took, took a decent amount of damage against that guy. Oh, Red Bombarder. I like how the incoming meteors don't stop either. They're still still pelting away. But as long as they keep dropping items, I guess that's not a big deal. Missiles from the Red Bombarder aren't doing much damage. So I guess this this boss run is kind of like a victory lap. Okay. It's quarter 21. Now where's it going to take me? Looks like we're going back into space. There's there's a planet Naju. So I guess I was successful in blowing it up. Now this looks like a transition stage to what I assume is gonna be the final boss. Final battles taking place in space. Now the planet's been destroyed. Here we go. Ah, yes, alright. So this guy is called It. And this is the final boss. Pretty neat sprite. Yeah, I like the design and the color. So, my understanding is this guy just keeps moving and trying to swat you with his claws. Kind of reminds me of the, the Crabalist bosses in Blaster Master. So far, 
not too bad. I've heard this guy's main challenges are his health. Wouldn't surprise me if his pattern changed too. Okay, I can't hit his claws. His claws are dangerous. Let's see if we can use the erasers to try and get some more health. There we go. Try and dodge between his hands. Assuming he takes damage anywhere on his sprite. a safe spot up there. There we go, full heal. Alright. Back in it. This guy's got a lot of health. But it seems kind of like an attrition battle. Just trying to outlast the boss. Dodging his hands, dodging his projectiles. Keeping the damage on him. Healing up when you can. Actually, it's kind of weird how closely this boss's sprite design is, resembles those Blaster Master Crabalus monsters. I wonder which game came first. Let's say this was in... 1988? Pretty close. Huh. Okay. I have no idea if the erasers are actually doing damage to this guy. I'm just trying to get some item boxes. Fireball. Man. Okay, I had read that if you spam the erasers over and over again, the projectiles will keep blowing up. I mean, you can boost your chances of an item box dropping, the cost of obviously burning more of your erasers, so I guess that works. But I don't want to, to waste all of them just doing that. But our final boss, It, has now changed orange. So, must be slowly getting weaker. Oh, now he's red. Seems like he's shooting more projectiles. So I need to keep my health up. Like so. Back to the fireball. Whew! Got him. Well, that was rather abrupt. Final score. A lot. Mission complete. And then we get a nice picture of the Guardian, I guess without all our robot gear on. And I guess this is her returning back to Earth. And we get the credit crawl here. So, overall, fantastic game. I never owned this one like I mentioned back in the beginning. I did hear people talk about it and I think I read about this game in Nintendo Power and I never really heard a lot of people talk about it. Most things I hear people talking about with this game is its difficulty but as far as I know it's pretty popular and I could see why. It was a lot of fun to play. It was very decently challenging. 
think Compile did a pretty good job of blending a lot of gameplay elements while also kind of mixing their formulas up so that the gameplay never really got repetitive. And the, like I said, the music, the graphics and boss sprite design is really cool. I've definitely enjoyed working on my, my emblem versions of the different bosses as part of the Let's Play. So I guess we'll see what happens at the end here. Let's see if there's like a post-credit scene. Password TGL. Okay, I believe there is a an additional mode you can access by doing that, which I think I'll give a try. Maybe I'll do that as a sort of separate follow-up to the Let's Plays, like some, some bonus episodes. Um, but, um, like I said before, really enjoyed playing the game. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. And hopefully you guys enjoy coming with me on the journey to save the Earth. So, until next time, I will see you guys in the next Let's Play.